So guys, you join me in the midst of a power cut. Struggling to make ends meet, just about surviving. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to episode four of the Sub 67 and a Half Marathon Project. You guys have been absolutely crushing it with the support in this series, so please continue to do that. It honestly makes my day, so I really, really appreciate it. Now, when I sat down to start recording this video, we were in a power cut, but then about five minutes in, the power came back on. So I restarted, we're gonna do this properly, um, so no making do in this video uh, anymore. So here we go. Week four, probably the best week yet. I'm really excited to get into this. So uh, yeah, let's start off with Monday. So guys, on the Monday, we started off with a 60 minute easy spin. Now these 60 minute easy spins have been really good as kind of like simulating a double run, if you like. So whereas I used to do a double run, I'm now doing a, a run and then a spin just to kind of reduce the load on the body. So yeah, as you can see from the caption there, I'm really struggling to kind of figure out how to set up the bike properly. I keep moving the seat forward and back, up and down, handlebars forwards and back. So yeah, it's something I'm definitely gonna get used to or try and get used to. But yeah, I just kind of seem to spend minutes trying to fiddle, like kind of fiddling around with the bike. Moving into Monday afternoon, I did an easy eight miles on the treadmill. Now I'm definitely a fair weather runner. So if there's rain uh, coming down or it's really windy outside, I'm probably just gonna hit the treadmill or at least I definitely have been during this training block. Um, and being as I've been really enjoying the treadmill, you guys know I'm all about kind of reducing the friction so if something's more mentally stimulating go for the option that is more mentally stimulating because you're going to enjoy it more and then if you enjoy it more you're going to perform better so that's how i kind of view things um, at the moment and i'm really really enjoying the treadmill so so why not and yeah as you can see i did eight miles during this run so each week i've been gradually increasing my monday and wednesday easy runs by one mile each week so we're now up to eight miles and i really enjoyed this it feels like a really nice distance to run eight to ten miles is that real sweet spot for me i really enjoy um, eight to ten miles as you can see from the caption there i'm really happy with where my body is at the moment in terms of fitness and how i'm feeling um and i'd set the treadmill to rolling hills so where it gradually kind of sweeps up and sweeps down so i ended up getting about 170 meters of elevation according to the treadmill um, which I was really, really happy with actually because I probably wouldn't get that on a normal um, easy run outside. And then I followed this up with some SNC afterwards, but I was kind of dictated with my SNC session um, just using certain machines due to it being quite busy at that time. So, yeah, as you can see, working on the hamstring and the core. My hamstrings are so weak just from years and years of using kind of quad exercises because they're the only exercises I know. So yeah, really working on strengthening those hamstrings up. Moving on to the Tuesday, I got up nice and early um, yet again and went down to the gym and did 45 minutes on the elliptical. So now I'm trying to start transitioning some bike sessions into elliptical. So kind of progressing from something of no load to a little load. And then when we get back to running, that'll be the full load um, once again. So yeah, I just did 45 minutes of easy elliptical. Um, and this is literally just to get the body a little bit warmed up in the morning, ready for the session in the afternoon otherwise i feel like i kind of really haven't done anything all day i feel a bit stiff in the afternoon uh, i feel a bit lethargic so yeah i really enjoy getting up early and, and doing something in the morning doesn't matter what, what it is really elliptical cycle run um, i'm just really enjoying getting up early it feels productive for the day and then in the afternoon slash evening i tried something new i head down to local titans of english club running Tunbridge AC. Um, I messaged the head coach, Mark Hookway, if he wouldn't mind incorporating me into their session, uh, being as I wasn't going to have enough time to get down to Canterbury Endurance. Um, and Donald, my coach from Canterbury Endurance, is a Tunbridge runner anyway, so there's ties and friendships there which make it super easy for me to kind of just slot in whenever I like. So yeah, I did my standard to my warm-up, as you can see, and then I did the session that they had set. I wasn't going to turn up and dictate a different session, and I was perfectly happy with that session. Um, it seemed like a good one to me. So yeah, we did 10 minutes, 6 minutes, 4 minutes, two by two minutes and then four by two hundreds and as you can see we did some big shapes for the for the longer reps and then for the shorter reps we ran around the circle and i really enjoyed actually running in a circle um with cone like a coned off area because it really allowed you to get that kind of centrifugal force kind of call me oppenheimer with all these physics phrases but yeah i really enjoyed running around the circle felt like i was absolutely flying and, and the pace on the watch said so as well but you always have to take it with a pinch of salt but overall yeah i thoroughly enjoyed the session um so yeah massive thank you to mark and tunbridge for letting me come down they were super friendly and super welcoming so thank you if anyone's watching and yeah just the entire club was so well ran it was like a well-oiled machine just super smooth everyone's so friendly and just a ton of 
a ton of runners basically uh, everywhere you look there was someone running uh, so yeah i properly properly enjoyed it and then did uh, my two mile cool down then guys moving on to the wednesday i didn't get up early i was feeling a little bit tired so i decided to have a bit of a lay-in and then i managed to squeeze in my on my easy run which ended up turning into a steady run in between my morning and afternoon clinic sessions so yeah as you can see from the description or the caption that i actually really enjoy kind of running when there's a bit of a time limit it kind of feels like a game like it's real fun for me so yeah i didn't have much time to get this done and that's why it became a steady run in the end and not an easy run and again it was eight miles progressing from the seven mile that i did last week um and yeah this route i really enjoyed this route never running on the same road twice i find really useful for me keeps me engaged it's not boring and also i don't have any option to throw in the towel because i'm nowhere near home until until the end again so yeah i probably enjoyed this run um around Farming around East Farley um, in Maidstone. So yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And yeah, as you can see, the pace was a little bit quicker to call it an easy run, um, or at least it felt steady rather than easy. And then once I finished the afternoon session at the clinic, I head down to the gym and did again my standard 60 minutes on the bike, um, spin bike whacked on a netflix program or podcast i can't remember what i listened to in the end but yeah just to keep myself kind of focused and then followed it up with some more s c because i'm really really enjoying the s c at the moment and that's something that i'm really happy with just the fact i'm enjoying it it's keeping me so much more engaged and just working on some of these weaknesses is only going to help me in the long term whether it's for injury or actually still improving my performance i'll take all the benefits i can get really then guys on the thursday i woke up and did my session in the morning because i was busy for the rest of the day so this was the only time i was going to be able to get it in so I woke up not super early. Um, I had a, a nice bit of a line, had my breakfast, and then head down to the tr uh, to the treadmill for an, for a tempo. So we've progressed from 20 to 22 minutes, and now up to 24 minutes for this run here. So I'm keeping the pace the same. We're only going to change one thing at a time for these longer sessions. So whether that's pace, distance, time, whatever we're doing. So this one was time. So I've I've managed to get up to 24 minutes of volume here, which I'm properly happy with. And then in the future weeks, I'm hoping to get up to that kind of 30, 35 minutes of volume just to get myself used to that longer sort of aerobic effort um, which is a little bit more similar of say a half marathon for example and yeah overall really happy with um, the treadmill tempos I find them really good for mentally it's so objective to see how you're feeling from one day to the next in terms of I did that session for 20 minutes two weeks ago and now I've done it for 24 minutes and I feel just the same so it's it's, it's really good to see that kind of that progression um, and I find it really useful for my, my motivation um, and then yeah standard two mile cool down then on the Friday I woke up and did an hour in the gym I wasn't sure if I was going to run this day so I thought I'll get my SNC in as priority and then if it ends up being a non-running day it's not the end of the world so yeah in this uh in during this SNC se uh, session I was focusing on the ankles and those little muscles around the ankles so working on that balance uh, working on some of the inversion and eversion muscles have a look on youtube um, if you're wondering what those are but yeah these are the little muscles that you're going to really use when you do grass running and that's something that i really want to improve so that i can do more grass sessions over winter to help me stay injury free but then in the afternoon i got home a lot earlier than i did expect to um, because my afternoon session at the clinic was cancelled so i did actually manage to get a five miles in and being as there's a new road um, near where i live that's opened up i really wanted to go and explore and see what that new road's like uh, so that's exactly what i did but it was really humid one it ran all uh, it had rained all during the morning so then when the sun came out in the afternoon um, it just got really hot and muggy and humid and i really didn't enjoy the feeling but it was nice to explore some new roads locally being as this road specifically that i'm talking about has been closed for uh, for over a year now so it was really nice to actually just see what they've been working on and yeah got it done even though i didn't enjoy the run it was nice to nice to explore then on to the saturday um, so again, Saturday sessions, Saturday morning sessions at the track is a bit of a staple of my training plan at the moment. So I turned up at the track, did my standard two mile warm up, and then did a what I'd call a, kind of like a snowball session. So each rep is getting gradually shorter than the last. And this is very similar to a session I did out in Portugal, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, so I did this completely solo. I think doing some solo sessions um, are really useful, but you're going to see the footage from this session. So that's what the uh, the second part of this video is going to be. It's going to be this track session. So I did 1600 or four laps um, with three minutes recovery where I jogged a lap um, during that recovery followed by 1200 and then the same again and then 2 by 800 2 by 400 and 2 by 200 with slightly less recovery each time and overall i was really happy with this session getting it done um, by myself but as i said you're gonna um, see the footage from this session in the second part of this video so i'm not going to go into too much detail for this one so guys then in the afternoon um i did get on the bike i had to kind of cram this in because my mum had booked for us to go and see oppenheimer at the cinema um, and that was starting at seven o'clock so i had to get on the bike quick get it done 
scoff dinner, then head off to the cinema. But the problem with doing time is there's no way to speed it up because 60 minutes is 60 minutes, right? So I kept it nice and easy, which I guess is in some ways is a really good thing actually. It meant I kept to my, my rhythm, I kept to my pace, and I just watched some trash TV basically. I can't remember what I was watching. I think I was maybe re-watching Peaky Blinders or something like that. So yeah, and then thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Oppenheimer, but that's not why you're here. Um, definitely recommend going and watching it if you're if you're imminent and And then yeah, moving on to the Sunday where I did my longest run again of the block. So the plan was to go to 13 miles, but I kind of overestimated a little bit, went a little bit too far out. Um, so I ended up doing 22K and I felt absolutely awful towards the end of this run. Because it was quite a hot one, I realized actually midway through the run that I hadn't had anything other than one coffee that morning. So yeah, I definitely felt a bit lightheaded towards the end in the heat because um, again it felt quite humid so yeah that was definitely a note to self to make sure I keep drinking properly before um, a long run because um, I don't want to feel like that again I felt dreadful um, and you know when DC is dropping you on a long run there's something up um, <laughs> that shouldn't be happening but yeah, so um, I finished the run at the local corner shop, went straight inside, got a bottle of Coke and then a big bottle of water and just downed all of it, got it straight back into the body. Um, and then I kind of chilled out for the rest of the day. And then I went home and had some lunch. Um, I had some massage clients, so it wasn't a complete rest day for me. And then I did have to do um, SNC on this day uh, because I wasn't able to cram it in on the Saturday because of going to the cinema and having lots of massage patients and stuff. So I find I'm really busy at the weekend. It's trying to find where the kind of the pieces of the, of the puzzle fit really. But yeah, that was the end of of week four. Overall, we finished on 100 kilometers. So overall, really chuffed with that. As you can see from the Strava graph, it's increasing really nicely. So yeah, really happy with how that how that looks and I really want that to kind of carry on going um, all the way to the Great North Run. That would just be really nice to look at. Anyway, guys, just before we move into the Saturday session, just a massive thank you to Saw Running for sponsoring this video. You've seen it in the videos of this series. You've seen it in other videos just because I've just been I've just found myself just constantly grabbing the sore stuff if it's if it's washed, if it's clean, just because it's so lightweight and it's so comfortable as well. And I really have been suffering in some, with some chafing in other shorts. Um, so I do find myself always reaching, especially for those marathon uh, half tights. They're just so comfortable. And they're almost like paper thin. I actually have no idea how they don't rip just because the build quality is so good. So yeah, and they've been an absolute godsend through some of my cross training as well, because I kind of use them as cycling shorts as well, just because they are so comfortable um, and breathable. But anyway, yeah, a massive thank you to Saw for sponsoring this video. Please go check them out. Their range is incredible. It is a little bit pricey, but you're paying for what you get, essentially. It's proper premium, top quality stuff, no seams, super lightweight, super breathable, and you just feel good when you got it on and that and, and that's something that you just i actually don't think you can buy that you know it's just top notch so anyway i really hope you enjoy this saturday session thanks for tuning into the series and uh yeah i'll catch you in the next one so guys we're at the track for another track session this one's a little bit of a different one it's more of a cut down session so although this training plan has been done off of my own back and I've, i'm kind of self-coaching if you like I am using DC to help me with some sessions. So he um, recommended I do a cut down session today where we start off at some longer reps and we just gradually cut it down essentially. So it's going to be something similar to a mile, 1200, 28s, 24s, 22, something like that. Um, but it's a little bit moody outside as you can see. It's um, like the sun's starting to come out, but it's a bit windy. So the drone might not make it through the day. It might, it might be the last day for the drone if it crashes and dies. Fingers crossed it doesn't. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Going to roughly have one lap rest between the longer reps, half a lap rest or 200 meters between the shorter reps. But we might, um, might change it as we get down there, see what the, the conditions are like. But yeah, without further ado, let's get out of the car. Let's get... Let's get ready and uh, yeah, brave the wind a bit. So guys, yeah, as I've mentioned before, a lot of my training group, Canterbury Endurance, they're middle distance guys. So they've been a little bit more focused on the 800 and 1500 this season. So they're gonna do, be doing something a little bit quicker today, which means I will pr most probably be doing this session alone. But part of me quite enjoys solo sessions. I think it um, like builds a lot of mental strength, especially when a lot of races, you're, you're gonna spend a lot of time on your own. Like you're in your own, in your own head, you're in your own kind of torture chamber if you like so yeah i think just doing some solo sessions every now and again does not hurt at all um especially in that last part of the races where you're on your own and you're kind of facing your demons so yeah and we'll probably do this by myself but it's not because i'm choosing to do it by myself just um yeah i just don't think that session is completely suitable for someone that's training for a half marathon but yeah without further ado i'm gonna get warmed up say hello to all the boys and uh, get ready to go rock and roll this is this is for tp 
T traps in it. T traps. I don't know what is uh yeah, who that is. Do you know who that is? <laughs> Drill's done. So guys, that's drill's done. It's very, very humid today. Um, we've had a lot of rain the last couple of days, so I think it's all coming out into the air. So um, yeah, the session's gonna be uh, one mile, so 1600, one lap jog, 1200, one lap jog, two times 800 off of 200 meters jog, uh, two 400s off of uh, probably more 60 seconds rather than the moving around the track, because I want to kind of start and finish in the same place. And then 200 meters, uh, two by 200 meters um, to finish off just a little bit of speed. Um, see all the boys in their strides behind me, but yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get the shoes changed and get, uh, get into the session. It's going to be a good one. I can feel it. No! So guys, that's session done. 1600, 1200, 28s, 24s, two twos. It was a bit of a rough one. Um, I started off with the mile. Really, really felt well, felt really good. And I was like, wow, this is this is going well. 444 for the mile or the 1600. Um, and then we got into the 1200, started to feel a bit rusty, 333. So kind of the same pace as the mile, but obviously a lap less. Then the two eights, I did um, 218, 219. So again, nice and consistent. Um, and then the 400s were 65, 65, so really nice and consistent. And then I don't actually know what the twos were. Let me check for you. 29 and 30. So again, yeah, really, really nice and consistent. So overall for consistency in, in those conditions, I'm really, really chuffed. It turned out to be really hot in the end, as you can see from how much I'm sweating. Um, but my car has turned into a bit of a sweat box, a bit of a microwave. But yeah, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Episode 4 of the Sub 67 Half Marathon Project. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe and share with your running buddies. Love the pain. So yeah, catch you in the next one.